أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغلوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ياسين والقرآن الحكيم إنك لمن المرسلين على صراط مستقيم تنزيل العزيز الرحيم لتنذر قوما ما أنذر آباؤهم فهم غافلون لقد حق القول على أكثرهم فهم لا يؤمنون إنا جعلنا في أعناقهم أغلالا فهي إلى الأذقان فهم مكمحون وجعلنا من بين أيديهم سدا ومن خلفهم سدا فأغشيناهم فهم لا يبسرون وسواء عليهم أأنذرتهم أم لم تنذرهم لا يؤمنون إنما تنذر من اتبع الذكر وخشي الرحمن بالغيب فبشره بمغفرة وأجر كريم إنا نحن نحيي الموتى ونكتب ما قدموا وآثارهم وكل شيء أحصيناه في إمام مبين واضرب لهم مثلا أصحاب القرية إذ جاءها المرسلون إذ أرسلنا إليه مثنين فكذبوهما فعززنا بثالث فقالوا إنا إليكم مرسلون قالوا ما أنتم إلا بشر مثلنا وما أنزل الرحمن من شيء إن أنتم إلا تكذبون قالوا ربنا يعلم إنا إليكم لمرسلون وما علينا إلا البلاغ المبين قالوا إنا تطيرنا بكم لئن لم تنتهوا لنرجمنكم وليمسنكم منا عذاب أليم قالوا طائركم معكم أئن ذكرتم بل أنتم قوم مسرفون وجاء من أقصى المدينة رجل يسعى قال يا قوم اتبعوا المرسلين اتبعوا من لا يسألكم أجرا وهم مهتدون وما لي لا أعبد الذي فطرني وإليه ترجعون أأتخذ من دونه آلهة إن يردني الرحمن بضر لا تغني عني شفاعتهم شيئا ولا ينقذون إني إذا لفي ضلال مبين إني آمنت بربكم فاسمعون قيل دخل الجنة قال يا ليت قومي يعلمون بما غفر لي ربي وجعلني من المكرمين 
وما أنزلنا على قومه من بعده من جند من السماء وما كنا منزلين إن كانت إلا صيحة واحدة فإذا هم خامدون يا حسرة على العباد ما يأتيهم من رسول إلا كانوا به يستهزئون ألم يروا كم أهلكنا قبلهم من الكرون أنهم إليهم لا يرجعون وإن كل لما جميع لدينا محضرون وآية لهم الأرض الميتة أحييناها وأخرجنا منها حبا فمنه يأكلون وجعلنا فيها جنات من نخيل وأعناب وفجرنا فيها من العيون ليأكلوا من ثمره وما عملته أيديهم أفلا يشكرون سبحان الذي خلق الأزواج كلها مما تنبت الأرض ومن أنفسهم ومما لا يعلمون وآية لهم الليل نسلخ منه النهار فإذا هم مظلمون والشمس تجري لمستقر لها ذلك تقدير العزيز العليم والقمر قدرناه منازل حتى عاد كالعرجون القديم للشمس ينبغي لها أن تدرك القمر ولا الليل سابق النهار وكل في فلك يسبحون وآية لهم أنا حملنا ذريتهم في الفلك المشحون وخلقنا لهم من مثله ما يركبون وإن نشأ نغرقهم فلا صريخ لهم ولا هم ينقذون إلا رحمة منا ومتاعا إلى حين وإذا قيل لهم اتقوا ما بين أيديكم وما خلفكم لعلكم ترحمون وما تأتيهم من آية من آيات ربهم إلا كانوا عنها معرضين وإذا قيل لهم أنفقوا مما رزقكم الله قال الذين كفروا للذين آمنوا أن نطعم من لو يشاء الله أطعمه إن أنتم إلا في ضلال مبين ويقولون متى هذا الوعد إن كنتم صادقين ما ينذرون إلا صيحة واحدة تأخذهم وهم يخصمون فلا يستطيعون توسية ولا إلى أهلهم يرجعون ونفخ في السور فإذا هم من الأجداث إلى ربهم ينسلون قالوا يا ويلنا من بعثنا من مرقدنا هذا ما وعد الرحمن وصدق المرسلون إن كانت إلا صيحة واحدة فإذا هم جميع لدينا محضرون فاليوم لا تظلم نفس شيئا ولا تجزون إلا ما كنتم تعملون إن أصحاب الجنة اليوم في شغل فاكهون هم وأزواجهم في ظلال على الأرائك متكئون لهم فيها فاكهة ولهم ما يدعون سلام 
قولا من رب رحيم وامتاز اليوم أيها المجرمون ألم أعهد إليكم يا بني آدم ألا تعبدوا الشيطان إنه لكم عدو مبين وأن يعبدوني هذا صراط مستقيم ولقد أضل منكم جبلا كثيرا أفلم تكونوا تعقلون هذه جهنم التي كنتم توعدون إصلوها اليوم بما كنتم تكفلون اليوم نختم على أفواههم وتكلمنا أيديهم وتشهد أرجلهم بما كانوا يكسبون ولو نشاء لطمسنا على أعينهم فاستبقوا الصراط فأنا يبسرون ولو نشاء لمسخناهم على مكانتهم فما استطاعوا مضيا ولا يرجعون ومن نعمره ننكسه في الخلق أفلا يعقلون وما علمناه الشعر وما ينبغي له إن هو إلا ذكر وقرآن مبين لينذر من كان حيا ويحق القول على الكافرين أولم يروا أنا خلقنا لهم مما عملت أيدينا أنعاما فهم لها مالكون وذللناها لهم فمنها ركوبهم ومنها يأكلون ولهم فيها منافع ومشارب أفلا يشكرون واتخذوا من دون الله آلهة لعلهم ينكرون صرون لا يستطيعون نصرهم وهم لهم جند محضرون فلا يحزنك قولهم إن نعلم ما يسرون وما يعلنون أولم يرى الإنسان أن خلقناه من نطفة فإذا هو خصيم مبين وضرب لنا مثلا ونسي خلقه قال من يحيي العظام وهي رميم قل يحييها الذي أنشأها أول مرة وهو بكل خلق عليم الذي جعل لكم من الشجر الأخضر نارا فإذا أنتم منه توقدون أوليس الذي خلق السماوات والأرض بقادر على أن يخلق مثلهم بلى وهو الخلاق العليم إنما أمره إذا أراد شيئا أن يقول له كن فيكون فسبحان الذي بيده ملكوت كل شيء وإليه ترجعون صدق الله العظيم اللهم آمين أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إنا كنا من الظالمين إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيرنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما بقدر عظمة ذاتك في كل وقت وحين 
اللهم إنا نحتفظك ونستودعك أدياننا وأبداننا وأنفسنا وأهلنا وأولادنا وأولادنا وأموالنا وكل شيء أعطيتنا اللهم اجعلنا وإياهم في كنفك وأمانك وعياذك من كل شيطان مريد وجبار عنيد وذي بغي وذي حسد ومن شر كل ذي شر إنك على كل شيء قدير اللهم جملنا بالعافية والسلام وحققنا بالتقوى والاستقامة وأعذنا من موجبات الندامة إنك سميع الدعاء اللهم اغفر لنا ولوالدينا وأولادنا ومشايخنا وأصحابنا وإخواننا في الدين ولمن أحبنا فيك ولمن أحسن إلينا والمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك سميع قريب مجيب الدعوات برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين وصل اللهم على عبدك ورسولك سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم وارزقنا كمال المتابعة له ظاهرا وباتنا في عافية وسلامة برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين يا الله يا الله يا الله ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وأدخلنا الجنة مع الأبرار يا عزيز يا غفار يا رب العالمين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه يجمعين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله سيدنا محمد رسول الله اللهم آمين 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 أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما تقدموا لأنفسكم من خير تجدوه عند الله هو خيرا وأعظم أجرا واستغفروا الله إن الله غفور رحيم أستغفر الله 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 
Astaghfirullah <laughs> إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم 
اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما بقدر عظمة ذاتك في كل وقت وحين فاعلم أنه لا إله إلا الله 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 سيدنا محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الذين قال لهم الناس إن الناس قد جمعوا لكم فاخشوهم فزادهم إيمانا وقالوا حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل 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 
فَانْقَلَبُوا بِنِعْمَةٍ مِّنَ اللَّهِ وَفَضْلٍ لَّمْ يَمْسَسْهُمْ سُوءٌ وَاتَّبَعُوا رِضْوَانَ اللَّهِ وَاللَّهُ ذُو فَضْلٍ عَظِيمٍ اللهم يا لطيف الطف بنا فيما جرت به المقادير اللهم يا لطيف الطف بنا فيما جرت به المقادير اللهم يا لطيف الطف بنا فيما جرت به المقادير وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم امين اعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاه والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد صاحب التاج والمعراج والبراك والعلم دافع البلاء والوباء والقحط والمرض والالم اسمه مكتوب مرفوع مشفوع منكوش في اللوح والقلم سيد العرب والعجم جسمه مقدس معتر متهر منور في البيت والحرم شمس الدحى بدر الدجى صدر العلا نور الهدى كهف الورى مصباح الظلم جميل الشيم شفيع الأمم صاحب الجود والكرم والله عاصمه وجبريل خادمه والبراك مركبه والمعراج سفره وسدرة المنتهى مقامه وقاب قوسين مطلوبه والمطلوب مقصوده والمقصود موجوده سيد المرسلين خاتم النبيين شفيع المذنبين انيس الغريبين رحمه للعالمين راحه العاشقين مراد المشتاقين شمس العارفين سراج السالكين مصباح المقربين محب الفقراء والغرباء والمساكين سيد الثقلين نبي الحرمين امام القبلتين وسيلتنا في الدارين وسيلتنا في الدارين صاحب قاب قوسين محبوب رب المشرقين والمغربين جد الحسن والحسين جد الحسن والحسين مولانا ومولى الثقلين ابي القاسم محمد بن عبد الله نور من نور الله نور من نور الله يا ايها المشتاقون بنور جماله صلوا عليه واله واصحابه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم تسليما بقدر عظمه ذاتك في كل وقت وحيم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وارغلنا الجنة مع الأبرار يا عزيز يا غفار يا رب العالمين 
ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله سيدنا محمد رسول الله اللهم آمين 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 بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا علي يا عظيم يا حليم يا عليم أنت ربي وعلمك حسبي فنعم الرب ربي ونعم الحسب حسبي تنسر من تشاء وأنت العزيز الرحيم نسألك العصمة في الحركات والسكنات والكلمات والإرادات والخطرات من الشكوك والذنون والأوهام الساترة للقلوب عن مطالعة الغيوب فقد ابتلي المؤمنون وزلزلوا زلزالا شديدا وإذ يقول المنافقون والذين في قلوبهم مرض ما وعدنا الله ورسوله إلا غرورا فثبتنا وانصرنا وسخر لنا هذا البحر كما سخرت البحر لموسى وسخرت النار لإبراهيم وسخرت الجبال والحديد لداود وسخرت الريح والشياطين والجن لسليمان وسخر لنا كل بحر هو لك في الأرض والسماء والملك والملكوت وبحر الدنيا وبحر الآخرة وسخر لنا كل شيء يا من بيده ملكوت كل شيء كاف ها يا عين صاد كاف ها يا عين صاد كاف ها يا عين صاد انصرنا فإنك خير الناصرين وافتح لنا فإنك خير الفاتحين واغفر لنا فإنك خير الغافرين وارحمنا فإنك خير الراحمين وارزقنا فإنك خير الرازقين واهدنا ونجنا من القوم الظالمين وهب لنا ريحا طيبة كما هي في علمك وانشرها علينا من خزائن رحمتك واحملنا بها حمل الكرامة مع السلامة والعافية في الدين والدنيا والآخرة 
إنك على كل شيء قدير اللهم يسر لنا أمورنا مع الراحة لقلوبنا وأبداننا والسلامة والعافية في دنيانا وديننا وكن لنا صاحبا في سفرنا وخليفة في أهلنا واطمس على وجوه أعدائنا وامسخهم على مكانتهم فلا يستطيعون المضيء ولا المجيء إلينا ولو نشاء لطمسنا على أعينهم فاستبقوا الصراط فأنا يبسرون ولو نشاء لمسخناهم على مكانتهم فما استطاعوا مضيا ولا يرجعون ياسين والقرآن الحكيم إنك لمن المرسلين على صراط مستقيم تنزيل العزيز الرحيم لتنذر قوما ما أنذر آباؤهم فهم غافلون لقد حق القول على أكثرهم فهم لا يؤمنون إنا جعلنا في أعناقهم أغلالا فهي إلى الأذقان فهم مكمحون وجعلنا من بين أيديهم سدا ومن خلفهم سدا فأغشيناهم فهم لا يبسرون شاهت الوجوه شاهت الوجوه شاهت الوجوه وعنت الوجوه للحي القيوم وقد خاب من حمل ظلما طاسين حاميم عين قاف مرج البحرين يلتقيان بينهما برزخ لا يبغيان حاميم 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 هم الأمر وجاء النصر فعلينا لا ينصرون حاميم تنزيل الكتاب من الله العزيز العليم غافر الذنب وقابل التوب شديد العقاب ذي التول لا إله إلا هو إليه المصير بسم الله بابنا تبارك حيطاننا ياسين سقفنا كاف ها يا عين صاد كفايتنا حاميم عين سين قاف حمايتنا فسيكفيكهم الله وهو السميع العليم 
فسيكفيكهم الله وهو السميع العليم فسيكفيكهم الله وهو السميع العليم ستر العرش مسبول علينا وعين الله ناظرة إلينا بحول الله لا يقدر علينا والله من ورائهم محيط بل هو قرآن مجيد في لوح محفوظ فالله خير حافظا وهو أرحم الراحمين فالله خير حافظا وهو أرحم الراحمين فالله خير حافظا وهو أرحم الراحمين إن ولي الله الذي نزل الكتاب وهو يتولى الصالحين إن ولي الله الذي نزل الكتاب وهو يتولى الصالحين إن ولي الله الذي نزل الكتاب وهو يتولى الصالحين حسبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم حسبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم حسبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وآله وصحبه وسلم بسم الله والحمد لله رب العالمين أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله لطيف بعباده يرزق من يشاء وهو القوي العزيز 
Ya Latifu Ya Latif 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 Ya Latifu Ya Latifu Ya Latif 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 يا لطيفا بخلقه يا عليما بخلقه يا خبيرا بخلقه ألطف بنا يا لطيف يا عليم يا خبير يا لطيفا بخلقه يا عليما بخلقه يا خبيرا بخلقه ألطف بنا يا لطيف يا عليم يا خبير يا لطيفا بخلقه يا عليما بخلقه يا خبيرا بخلقه ألطف بنا يا لطيف يا عليم يا خبير اللهم يا من لطفت في خلق السماوات والأرض ولطفت بالأجنة في بطون أمهاتها ألطف بنا لطفا يليك بكرمك ورحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين يا الله اللهم يا من جعلت الصلاة على النبي من القربات نتقرب إليك بكل صلاة سليت عليه من أول النشأة إلى ما لا نهاية من الكمالات بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يسوق الخير إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يصرف السوء إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله وما بكم من نعمة فمن الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يسوق الخير إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يصرف السوء إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله وما بكم من نعمة فمن الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يسوق الخير إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يصرف السوء إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله وما بكم من نعمة فمن الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل صلاة كاملة وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم ويستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم وعلى اله وصحبه في كل لمحه ونفس بعدد كل معلوم لك اللهم صل صلاة كاملة وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم ويستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم وعلى اله وصحبه في كل لمحه ونفس بعدد كل معلوم لك اللهم صل صلاة كاملة وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم ويستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم ريم وعلى اله وصحبه في كل لمحه ونفس بعدد كل معلوم لك ان شاء الله كنتنيو ذكر جامعه لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحه ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحه ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحه ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحه ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحه ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحه ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحه ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله ان شاء الله مكتوب دعانا اللهم امين اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين اياك نعبد واياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين امين اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا ابراهيم وعلى ال سيدنا ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا محمد 
كما بركت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for our Shaykh, teacher, murshid, and master, Sayyidina Shaykh Faisal Hamid Abdul Razak. O oh Allah, may you increase him in knowledge and wisdom. O oh Allah, may you protect him from evil, and we pray that he will lead his marids on the straight path towards you. O oh Allah, we pray for the Shaykh and his family. We pray that you strengthen them in Iman, keep them in good health, and grant them long life in Islam. O oh Allah, we pray that you protect them from all evil, ease their trials, and grant them the sweetness of paradise. رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنَا وَقِينَا عَذَابِ النَّارِ Allah forgive us for our sins and guide us on the straight path leading to paradise. O oh Allah, you know the needs of all of us present here. O oh Allah, answer our dawn and take care of our needs. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for our parents that you grant them your grace and mercy as they raised us in childhood. O oh, oh Allah, grant our parents long life and good health in Islam. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, forgive our parents and grant them paradise. O oh Allah, for our parents who have passed away and returned to you, O oh Allah, we beg you to forgive them. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for all the murids of Shaykh Faisal throughout the world. O oh Allah, we pray that you ease our trials and, us, and grant us the strength to face our trials. O oh Allah, make it easy for us to gain true knowledge and to practice it, to be good murids and to get ever closer to you. O oh Allah, you know the needs of all of the murids. O oh Allah, we beg you to answer our, our dua and take care of our needs. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for all the Muslims around the world. O oh Allah, we pray that you strengthen us in Iman. O oh Allah, we pray for unity and to make us stronger as a nation. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, please comfort and relieve all Muslims who are suffering and have suffered losses. O oh Allah, you are the all-powerful and the almighty. O oh Allah, we beg you to give us victory against the unbelievers. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for the International Islamic Forum and the Al-Fasr and Dhikr Halaqa. May you make it easy for us to establish many messages for your sake. May you bless the Islamic form and then fasten the Dhikr Halakha to be a beacon of to be a beacon of light for Islam throughout the world. And may help us to finish building the new message soon and make it easy for us to do so. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammadan wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al-mursani walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله سيدنا محمد رسول الله اللهم بارك لنا في رجب وشعبان وبلغنا رمضان 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 أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم 
لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما تقدم لأنفسكم من خير تجدوه عند الله هو خيرا وأعظم أجرا واستغفر الله إن الله غفور رحيم استغفر الله 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 العظيم الذي لا اله الا هو الحي القيوم واتوب اليه وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي 
wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim tasliman bi qadri azamati dhatika fi kulli waqtin wa hin a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim فَعَلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ 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 لا اله الا الله 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 لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله سيدنا محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين امين أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله اللهم افتح علينا فتوح العارفين ووفقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت يا حي يا قيوم تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا سهلا اللهم أعزنا من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا وأصلح لنا شأننا كله لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك 
ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين آمين أما بعد My dear respected brothers and sisters My dear Murids Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you. And welcome once again to our special daily broadcast, the special blessed program coming to you from the Islamic Forum of Canada, where we share with you this message of mercy from God Almighty to all of His creation. We thank you for joining our program today. Remember, this program starts at 7 p.m. Toronto time, coming to you from our Zawiya here at the Islamic Forum of Canada. Uh, we kindly request you to reach out to others, uh, your family members, your relatives, your friends, other Muslims you know, and encourage them to watch the program, 7 p.m. Toronto time. Share the YouTube link with them, inshallah, they watch the program, they will benefit from the program and you will receive increased blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also, we kind of request you to enter your information in, into the chat, your name and the city where you're from and your response to the different projects. Uh, we want to uh, make special dua today in our program for all our donors, all those who donated today, yesterday and before, all our donors without exception. We make special of all of them uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless their families, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless their loved ones because of their donation to the Islamic Forum. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase them uh, in his sustenance, in his risk, increase their wealth uh, because of their donation to the Islamic Forum. Uh, once again, we remind you that uh, our focus on this program, our interest, it is your safety, your well-being, uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can keep you in the best of states in Afia, firstly, and then secondly, your spirituality, your connection, your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And so the different items of this, pro this program, they are geared towards achieving these two main focus of our program, your safety and your well-being, as well as your spirituality. We have several projects that uh, we, we are encouraging you to participate in, to be an active part of. Uh, the, the Quran project for you to recite the Quran every day, at least one page, a Salawat project to recite Salawat on the Prophet ﷺ every day, the gratitude project to, uh, you know, every day uh, remind yourself about what you're grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for, and also the Da'wah project, the fourth thing I want to mention to you, the Da'wah project, which is for you to engage in other, with others to invite them to the program to look at this program inshallah we, we every day we remind you to do so and so that's what we refer to as the dawah project to reach out to your family members your relatives your friends other muslims you know tell them about the program encourage them to watch your program and fifthly the infaq pro uh, project the infaq project and today i want to say something about this in fact the infaq project in fact meaning to spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals in Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 245, مَنْ ذَا الَّذِي يُقْرِدُ اللَّهَ قَرْضًا حَسَنًا فَيُدَعِفَهُ لَهُ أَدْعَافًا كَثِيرًا وَاللَّهُ يَقْبِدُ وَيَبُسُدُ وَإِلَيْهِ تُرْجَعُونَ Who is it that will loan to Allah a beautiful loan? which Allah will double onto his credit and multiply many times. It is Allah that gives you want or plenty, and to him shall be your return. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this ayah talks about uh, the loan to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the qard or qard hasana, the loan that you give to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of course, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not need anything from us, but this is a way for us to benefit ourselves, for us to gain great blessings 
from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the scholars have mentioned five stages of rewards for the believers, for the in fact, the, the, the spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they give, spending their wealth, a portion of their wealth for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Five stages of rewards that I want to share with you today. Firstly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and whoever does an atom weight of good will see it. وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرًا يَرَاهُ Whoever does an atom weight of good will see it. You do something, no matter how small that deed is, you will see the reward with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When this ayah was revealed, in hadith is mentioned that the Prophet made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase the rewards for his followers, for his ummah, for the believers. That they would spend for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they would get more rewards. At, at this first level, one, one to one. One good deed, uh, you get uh, one blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No matter how small that good deed is, uh, an atom's weight. No matter how small your in fact, your spending way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, you will, get, you will see that reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, uh, in response to this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals the second stage of rewards for the believers for spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals in the Quran, مَنْ جَاءَ بِالْحَسَنَةِ فَلَهُ عَشْرُ أَمْثَالُهَا عَشْرُ أَمْثَالِهَا مَنْ جَاءَ بِالْحَسَنَةِ فَلَهُ عَشْرُ أَمْثَالِهَا Whoever does a good deed shall have ten times the reward for it. So now at the second level, each good deed, you're rewarded ten times more for this. Through the mercy of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and through this dua of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And when this ayah was revealed, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, compensate my ummah even more than that. Look at how the Prophet ﷺ is concerned about us and for us. He says, Ya Allah, compensate, reward my ummah more than that for the good deed that they're doing. And then the next ayah was revealed, which is the third level of rewarders, third stage of reward for the believers. Many rewards, more than ten for one good deed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals, in Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 245, مَنْ ذَا الَّذِي يُقْرِدُ اللَّهَ قَرْضًا حَسَنًا فَيُدَاعِفَهُ أَدْعَافًا كَثِيرًا Who is it that will loan to Allah a beautiful loan so that Allah will multiply His rewards many times? Who is that person? that will loan to Allah a beautiful loan so that Allah will multiply his rewards many times. So now, uh, at the first level, one to one, second level, uh, ten good rewards for one, and then now many, more than ten, for the one good deed that you do. Uh, to spend with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who would give this loan to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? This card hasana. Uh, the, and once again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the scholars have mentioned in tafsir that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need anything from His creation. He is free of needs. But this is a way for Him to encourage us to do good deeds so that He can reward us more. He can reward us more. When this ayah was revealed, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again, Ya Allah, compensate my ummah with more than that. Reward my ummah with more than that. And then the next level was given to the believers, the next ayah, for the, the fourth level now. The fourth level. At the first level, once again, one good deed, you get one reward. Uh, the second level, ten rewards for, for one good deed. At the third level, many rewards, many more re rewards, more than ten. And now the fourth level, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ يُنْفِكُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ كَمَثَلِ حَبَّةٍ أَمْبَتَتْ سَبْعَ سَنَابِلَ 
fi kulli sumbulatin miatu habba wallahu yudha'ifu liman yasha wallahu wasi'un alim Surah Al-Baqarah ayah number 261 at his fourth level now fourth stage of rewards for the believers 700 rewards for one good deeds Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this ayah says the likeness of those who spend their wealth in the way of Allah is that of a grain of corn, a grain of corn. It grows seven ears, and each ear has a hundred grains. So one grain grows seven ears or branches. In each ear, there are hundred grains. So that seven by hundred is seven hundred. And Allah gives manifold increase to whomever He wills. And Allah SWT increase more than that to whomever He wants. And Allah is all, all, all embracing, all knowing. So uh, the scholars of Tafs, you mentioned that you, you get this 700 rewards for one good deed. And then Allah SWT gives more than that. 700, more, 1400, 2100, 2800, 3500. It goes on and on. And they said it depends now on your level of sincerity. That how sincere you are with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you give your deed, when you uh, give your infaq, your charity, your donation, sadaqah for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because uh, people may have different niyyah and so on. But the, the, the more pure your niyyah is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the greater you reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, as the Prophet ﷺ mentions that among the greatest of g virtuous good deeds you can do is to give charity with your right hand and your left hand doesn't know what you're doing. The left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing. In other words, secretly, you, you do this only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In this way, that you, you want to keep doing good deeds for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So look at the great rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 700 times. Imagine that level of returns on investment. Today in society for the dunya investment, when people do investment and they hear about returns on investment, if they can get 10%, they feel very happy about that. 15% even more happy. 20%, oh, they grab that opportunity right away. Here, Allah SWT is telling us 700% returns on your investment. Each good deed you do for Allah SWT, rewarded 700 times, and that's minimum. They increase over that. Allah SWT, Wallahu yu da'ifuli man yasha. In this way, Allah SWT will grant multiple incre increases to whomever He wants. And so you want to try to do your. your your in fact, your spending in your Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your sadaqa charity in the best way possible. In the best way possible. There is the beautiful uh, hadith of uh, Sayyidah Fatima to Zahra, radiallahu anha, wa alayhi salam. That when, when someone came to her to beg for something, uh, and she would give them something, even though she was in need most of the time, but she was so generous that she would, would share with them. When she's giving sadaqa charity, uh, she would wrap it in a piece of green cloth, perfume it, and then she give it to that person in that beautiful way. And then some of the sahabas asked her why, and she said, when, when I give this charity, this sadaqa to someone, when I give charity, to, to someone, it reaches the hands of Allah before it reaches the hand of that person. So she wants to present it to Allah in this beautiful way. Look at this great example of the beloved daughter of the beloved Prophet Sayyidah Fatima to Zahra radiallahu anha wa alayhi salam. How she would be in this way. And so at this fourth level, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ يُنْفِكُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ كَمَثَلِ حَبَّةٍ أَنْبَتَتْ سَبْعَ سَنَابِلَ فِي كُلِّ سُنْبُلَةٍ مِئَةُ حَبَّةٍ 
والله يضعف لمن يشاء والله واسع عليم yes 700 times you're rewarded for that one good deed of spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yet again, when this ayah was revealed, the Prophet made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Allah, compensate my ummah with more than that. Look at the concern of the Prophet for us. He wants more and more for us to get the rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he's making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Allah, grant more rewards to my ummah for the good deeds that they do. And then the, the fifth and final level, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals in the Quran, in Surah Az-Zumar, chapter 39, verse 10, when he says, إِنَّمَا يُوَفَّ الصَّابِرُونَ أَجْرَهُمْ بِغَيْرِ حِسَابِ Those who patiently persevere and are steadfast will receive limitless rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Without limit. Different people, depending on their uh, they're sabr, they patiently persevere and are steadfast. Depending how much they do this, the rewards are limitless from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِنَّمَا يُوَفَّ الصَّابِرُونَ أَجْرَهُمْ بِغَيْرِ حِسَابِ Those who patiently persevere and are steadfast will receive boundless, limitless rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. More than 700 times. No limit. This is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responds to us. Because of the Prophet ﷺ, his dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the Prophet wants us to receive great rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we would be the best of ummah on a day of judgment. That we will excel. And so I want you to remember this so you strive to excel. So that the Prophet ﷺ will be pleased with you. You'll make the Prophet ﷺ happy. The more you strive for Islam, the more you strive for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more you spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so the, the, the five uh, stages of rewards for the believers, for spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for infaq. And this is, this is what we call the infaq project that you must strive to be part of, inshallah. So one reward for one good deed, first level. Second level, 10 rewards for the one good deed. Third level, Many more rewards, more than 10 for one good deed. Fourth level, 700 rewards for one good deed. And the fifth and final level, rewards without any limit for one good deed. How you are with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Where is your sincerity with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Uh, this is what we should strive to do, inshallah. I want to share with you this beautiful hadith of a practice of one of the noble companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sayyidina Abu Dhar Al-Ghifari Rajulahu Anhu. Great companion. Uh, was so dedicated, especially his focus on spirituality. And there were some of the Sahabas who were like that. And they received more gifts from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about spirituality, about tasawwuf. And, and they conveyed that knowledge to us. Ahead of them, Sayyidina Imam Ali, Karamallahu wajahahu wa alayhi salam. And this hadith it's pra is a practice of Sayyidina Abu Dhar al ghifari that in Masjid al Nabawi, Masjid al Prophet in Medina, in those days, uh, after each salah, he would, the Sahabas would pray in the Masjid. After they pray in the Masjid, then when he finished performing his salah, he would give sadaqah. The poor people who were there uh, and so on, he give sadaqah, he give charity donation, charity to them, to help them. After each and every salah, five times a day, after Fajr, after Dhuhr, after Maghrib, after uh, Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Isha, five salah. And then the other sahabs ask him about this. Why is he doing this? Why? Uh, they notice after each and every salah, he's doing his, his charity, giving charity. And he says to them, do you not read the book of Allah? In the book of Allah, in the Quran, Whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to pray, He also commands us to spend in the way of Allah. zakat. And zakat is a generic concept here for all types of charity. Zakat, sadaqat, khairat, lillah, and so on and so forth. So, 
when you look at the Quran now, wherever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding, commanding us to pray, He is also commanding us to spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In fact, spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we should be mindful of. And so this is a great project for you to be part of, to in fact project to spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And for Sayyidina Buddha, he wasn't uh, a, a, a very wealthy person. There are many other sahabas more wealthier than him, but whatever little he could afford, he would do that. So it is not difficult for you to spend something every day for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, whatever little you can do, you do that. But it's a great thing to do, great blessings. The Prophet says, every day that the sun shines, the sun rises, it becomes incumbent on um, you to do sadaqah. Uh, so there's no day that the sun doesn't rise. So every day a day of sadaqah for you. And may Allah SWT bless you to be from among Ahlul Infaq, those who would spend in the way of Allah so that Allah SWT can grant you ziyada, can grant you more and more from his bounties, from his blessings, from his rizq, from his ni'mah. Amin, amin, amin. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Wa salamu alaykum. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in amma ba'd I want to share with you today this wonderful opportunity to gain much blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentions in the hadith ma naqasa malu 'abdin min sadaqa the wealth of a person will never decrease because of spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning that your wealth will increase when you spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you engage in infaq fi sabilillah. Your wealth will increase. And so the opportunity for you to increase your wealth greatly by spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The opportunity I want to share with you is uh, for our live stream broadcast, this broadcast that you who have been watching, uh, many of you every day, many of you several times a week, uh, the, the daily broadcast we have at 7 p.m., the Juma broadcast at 1 p.m. on Fridays, uh, the special programs, the special maulids, halakas, uh, and so on. So many different programs we have, and many people are benefiting from this program, as you know, many brothers and sisters like yourselves, families from many different countries are benefiting from the live stream broadcast. And we need to acquire new equipment and to update our equipment we have that we are using for the live stream broadcast. And there are several items we need. And the first one I want to share with you today and to appeal to you for this, it's the camera. We need to get a new camera, and the budget for the camera is six thousand uh, dollars. The our, our wonderful staff here at Islam Forum they've done their research uh, in this matter, and so we need to acquire that camera, uh, and the cost is six thousand dollars. And we hope you can uh, donate towards uh, this project. We've divided that amount into shares of a hundred dollars, and so you can donate one share of $100 or five shares which is $500 or 10 shares which is $1,000 or more whatever you can afford and whatever blessings you would like to receive from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make your donation uh, you can go to our website Islam Forum website at islamicforumonline.com and then on the donation page uh, you would see uh, one of the buttons for the different categories of donation labeled live stream equipment. It is the second button in the list of uh, categories for donation. So you click on that button, live stream equipment, and you would make your donations for this specific uh, cause that we are appealing to you for. Uh, we, we hope you can respond and respond generously uh, immediately by donating as many shares as you can 
each share being $100, and the total amount we would like to raise for the camera is $6,000. This is the first item we need, and there are several items. We would let you know once we collect the money for the camera, we would go on to the next item, and we let you know the details about that. So uh, do respond, and respond generously, and may Allah SWT bless you. Once again, the Prophet ﷺ says, ما نقص مال من صدقة. The, the wealth of a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never decreases because they spend in the way of Allah. Their wealth will only increase. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them increase in their wealth. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless your entire family and all your loved ones because of your financial support for the Islamic Forum. Ameen. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'i. Bismillahi Rahman Rahim, wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. On this blessed occasion of the month of Sha'aban al Mu'addham being with us, we have a new series of lectures relating to the month of Sha'aban. This month of Sha'aban is special. The main reason being that the Prophet ﷺ treated this month in a special way. And because he treated this month in a special way, it should be special for us. This month is actually called Shahru Rasul, the month of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Yes, such a beautiful description for this month. Uh, the month before, uh, Rajab is referred to as Shahrullah, the month of Allah. And uh, this month of Sha'aban is referred to as Shahrul Rasul, the month of the Messenger of Allah, of Rasulullah Wasallam. And the next month that's coming soon, the month of Ramadan al-Mubarak, is referred to as Shahrun lil Mu'minin, the month for the believers. So a, a beautiful time indeed, and, and this month, a, a special month with special virtues. There are many important events which took place in this month uh, that caused it to be uh, described as Shahru Rasul, the month of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And uh, so in this special series of lectures, we want to uh, share reflections, special reflections on the month of Sha'aban, its virtues, the virtues of the month of Sha'aban and Mu'addam, the importance and significance, the things we should do in this month to take us close to, closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and closer to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Remember, uh, we, we said in Rajab, uh, we plant the seeds of good deeds in Rajab. And now for Sha'aban, we nourish and cultivate and water those seeds of good deeds. And then in Ramadan, to harvest and reap the rewards, the fruits of those good deeds. So now is the time for cultivation, uh, nourishing, uh, to, to roll up our sleeves and do the hard work so that we can reap uh, a wonderful harvest of spiritual fruits and benefits in Ramadan, the greatest of which is Al-Idku Min nar freedom from the fire of hell. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, take you closer to Him and fill uh, our hearts, all of us, with mahabba, love for Him and love for Rasulullah wasallam, the beloved of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we pray that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq and that you will enjoy this special series of lectures on the month of Sha'aban and uh, do remember to share this information with everyone you know, family members, relatives, friends, other Muslims you know, so that they can also benefit uh, and know more about the month of Sha'aban al-Mu'addham. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Ameen. أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم 
Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in Wa ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika la Wa ashadu na Sayyidina Muhammadan abdullahi wa rasooluh Allahumma afta alayna fatuha al-arifin Wa wafikna tawfiqa al-salihin وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت يا حي يا قيوم تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا سهلا اللهم أعزنا من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا وأصلح لنا شأننا كله لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين آمين أما بعد. My dear respected brothers and sisters, I greet you all with the greetings of Islam. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته. May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you, and welcome once again to. this special series of lectures on the virtues of the special month of Sha'aban. The Fada'il of Sha'aban, Sha'aban being Shahru Rasul, the month of the Messenger of Allah Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And many are the great virtues of this blessed month of Sha'aban, Al Mu'addam. Today, I want to share with you some reflections from the writings, the discourses of Sayyidi Sheikh Abdul Qadir Al-Jilani Al-Ghawth Al-A'adham Radiallahu Anhu In his book Al-Ghunyatu Litalibi Tariq Al-Haq Sufficient Provisions for the Seekers of Truth In the sixth discourse he mentioned about this month of Sha'aban and his virtues and I want to share some reflections with you on the beautiful gems of wisdom from Sayyidi Sheikh Abdul Qadir Al Jilani. He mentioned the meaning of the five Arabic letters in the word Sha'aban. In the word Sha'aban, the Arabic word Sha'aban, it consists of five letters Sheen, Ain, Ba, Alif, Nun, Sha'aban. And each letter has a particular significance. The Sheen, the first letter of the word Sha'aban, stands for Sharaf or nobility, an opportunity for you to develop and acquire noble char qualities, noble characteristics in this special month of Sha'aban. The second letter, the Ayn, stands for Ulu, sublimity, spiritual elevation. Ulu, to be elevated, to be raised up, to become sublime in your spiritual qualities. And this spiritual elevation is what the believer, the sincere pious believer can achieve in this month of Sha'aban. Sha'aban offers an opportunity for this. The third letter in the word Sha'aban, the Ba, letter Ba, it stands for Bir or piety. And Bir is the pinnacle of the beautiful qualities of the believers, Muslimun, Mu'minun, Muttaqun, and so on. All these beautiful descriptions of believers, it culminates in this quality of Bir. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions this concept of birr in the Qur'an. In the Ayatul Infaq, لَيْسَ الْبِرَّ أَن تُوَلُّوا لَن تَنَالُوا الْبِرَّ حَتَّى تُنْفِكُوا مِمَّا تُحِبُّونَ The concept of birr 
is mentioned there and this connection to infaq or spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then the ayah of bir in the Quran, in the Surah Al-Baqarah, ayah number 177, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals, لَيْسَ الْبِرَّ أَن تُوَلُّوا بُجُوهَكُمْ قِبَلَ الْمَشْرُكِ وَالْمَغْرِبِ وَلَّاكِنَّ الْبِرْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us what is bir from the concept of believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the, the angels and so on and then the practical aspect belief and then practical aspect for example وَآتَ الْمَالَ عَلَى حُبِّهِ the will qurba and so on how we, once again spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so the concept of bir is indicated here in this third letter of the word Sha'ba, the letter ba the fourth letter alif alif stands for ulfa harmonious intimacy spiritual intimacy spiritual closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to the prophet sallallahu alaihi and to the pious believers the ahlul bayt the sahabas the the awliya and so on this concept of ulf spiritual nearness spiritual closeness uh, an opportunity to gain and achieve that spiritual closeness and nearness in this month of Sha'ban, to closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, through our ibadah that we would do, uh, the closeness to the Prophet because it especially we treat this month, which is the month of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then in, in so doing, you achieve closeness to the, the family, the noble family of the Prophet Ahlul Bayt, to the noble companions, the sahabas, to the awliya of Rasulullah sallallahu to the pious believers in this way. And then the fifth letter of, the final letter of the word Sha'ban is Noon. And this stands for no or radiant light. And then there is the, the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Nurullah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran. And then the light of the messenger Rasulullah sallallahu and Nur al Muhammadiyah. So the Nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for example, he says, that when you recite Surah Al-Kahf on Friday, Jum'ah, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants you a nur in your life. From that Friday until the next Friday for an entire week. And that nur lights your way in the affairs of your life for that week. The nur from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And many are those examples. And then a nur of the Prophet ﷺ that shines so brightly in your life when you have this sincere love in your heart for the Prophet ﷺ. And the month of Sha'aban, because it is the month of Rasulullah ﷺ, is this great opportunity, great occasion for you to allow this nur to grow inside of you and become bigger and bigger, stronger and stronger, brighter and brighter. A nur al muhammadi the nur of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And these are from the special spiritual gifts from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he grants to his uh, pious, sincere believers, his servants in this month of Sha'ban. The month of Sha'ban is a month in which the treasures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are laid open for you so that you can access them. It becomes accessible to you. Uh, for example, a treasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet alayhi salatu salam says that uh, the, 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 the phrase, the words of dhikr, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi al-aliyil azim. It is a treasure under the, thro the throne, the arsh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And many are the treasures of Allah. And, and in this month of Sha'ban, it becomes accessible to you to, to achieve, to uh, get these special, to receive these special tre treasures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sha'ban is a month in which blessings are sent down. Special blessings are sent down. And so the more you strive to do good deeds, to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in, in, in Sha'ban, the more barakat, the more blessings descend upon you. The month of Sha'ban is a month in which faults are forgiven. 
uh, and, and the starting point, the first step of this is for you to forgive others their transgression, their faults, their mistakes, and so on. That you, you, you want to forgive and forget, move on. Uh, and, and when you do that, uh, great are the blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The month of Sha'ban is a month in which sins are expiated. You, you, you gain expiation for your sins. There's total forgiveness for sins in the month of Sha'ban as you strive to do more and more good deeds for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And especially among the special khatam, the khatams that we mentioned for the month of Sha'ban, one of them being the khatam of istighfar to recite Astaghfirullah 70,000 times in the month of Sha'ban. One of uh, several khatams the awliya would do and recommend for us to do that we've mentioned in our previous lectures in the series of lectures on Sha'ban al-Mu'adham, the virtues, the fada'il of Sha'ban. So the more you do this istighfar, the more you receive blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, and this is the month of salawat upon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And, and therefore you should strive to do, to recite as much salawat on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this month of Sha'ban. And this is the, another important khatam of the several khatams we mentioned to, for you to do in the month of Sha'ban, to recite the salawat. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika nabiyi al-ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. Recite this 70,000 times. Uh, you can do it yourself or you can invite and involve family members, relatives, friends and so on, uh, that they can do it. Divide it in the shares of a thousand and distribute the shares. You have 70 shares distributed to others so that they can participate. Some people may take one share for the month, some five, some ten. And in this way you can do at least one khatam of salawat in the month of Sha'ban. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, mentions, reveals a special ayah in Surah Al-Ahzab. Bismillah ar-Rahim. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi Ya ayyuha alladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Allahumma salli wa sallam baraka ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Verily Allah and His angels shower blessings on the Prophet. O you who believe, invo invoke blessings upon him and salute him with a worthy salutation. Surah Al-Ahzab, chapter 33, verse 56. And, and so the command of reciting salawat on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this month of Sha'ban is a month of salawat. And here in this verse, there is salawat that's recited, invoked upon the Prophet ﷺ. At three levels. Firstly, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Secondly, from the angels. Thirdly, from the believers. And the, the, the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the salawat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon the Prophet sallam, is mercy among its meaning, its mercy. The uh, salawat uh, blessings uh, on the Prophet from the angels, it is intercession and petition for forgiveness. Uh, the blessings of salawat or salawat uh, from the believers upon the Prophet sallam, is supplication and veneration. Because when you say, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad, you're making dua to Allah, Allahumma. Ya Allah, send your blessings on the Prophet sallam. So that's the supplication. And veneration, you honoring him, respecting him, elevating his remembrance and so on. That, that intense, passionate, sincere, loyal veneration of the Prophet sallam. According to Sayyidina Mujahid, radiallahu anhu, he said, the salawat from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is prosperity and virtue. Increasing the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prosperity and in virtues for thy. The salawat upon the Prophet sallallahu from the angels, it is help and support. That the, the angels are there to give to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi sallam. And this happened throughout the, the, the life of the Prophet alayhi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on several occasions all the time. Angels are there protecting him. Yes, supporting him. The Battle of Badr is a great occasion, a great example. 
when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent his angels to support and help and fight alongside the Prophet and the believers, the Sahabas, the noble companions. And the, uh, Imam Mujahid said that the uh, salawat from the believers to the Prophet it is compliance and respect. Compliance means following him, loving him, uh, implementing his sunnah, uh, ittiba, a rasul, and respecting and honoring him. Imam Ibn Atta said, Radiallahu anhu, the, the blessing, uh, the salawat from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the Prophet is conjunction. It's, uh, it's, it's a way of, of elevating the Prophet's maqam to be uh, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, such as uh, the shahada. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. If someone wants to take shahada to enter into Islam, uh, they, they, it's not enough for them to say they believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They must also say they believe in the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the salawat from the angels to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it is tender care for him. And, and salawat uh, from the believers to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it is following him with affection, with sincerity, with loyalty, with devotion. Some other scholars said that the salawat, the blessings uh, upon the Prophet from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the enhancement of honor and remembrance. The, and always improving, increasing, elevating this. The blessings upon the Prophet from the angels is a display of gracious favor from the angels to the Prophet and the blessings uh, invoked upon the Prophet from the Ummah, from the believers, it is the request for intercession, that the sh to, to be blessed with the shafa'ah of the Prophet And that's one of the new when you recite your salawat, that you want intercession from the Prophet in the dunya, and especially so in the akhirah, the, the shafa'ah, shafa'atul kubra, the great intercession is in the akhirah. And the Prophet alayhi salatu salam mentions in the hadith, whenever someone invokes a single blessing upon him, one salawat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses him ten times, invoke ten salawat upon him. This is what the Prophet alayhi salatu salam mentioned. The great, amazing thing for this month of Sha'ban. And so far from being negligent during this month, uh, every conscientious believer is obliged to exhort themselves in preparation for the coming month of Ramadan, using the days that remain to get clear of sins and repent for, for those sins committed in the past. That the, 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 this is a time now in, in Shaban to do a lot of this. Once again, the khatam of istighfar, how important it is. So that you, you want to uh, remove all of these blemishes and faults and shortcomings before Ramadan. So you want to strive to gain the forgiveness of Allah SWT before Ramadan. So that Ramadan becomes even more special for you. I tell you, the more you prepare in this month of Shaban for Ramadan, the, the better Ramadan is for you. You prepare, you will succeed. You fail to prepare, then prepare to fail. You will fail. There, it, it's also an opportunity, this month of Shaban, to engage in much dua to Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. You beseech Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the month of Shaban as, as much as you can. You should appeal to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the owner of this month, the, the one after whom this month is named, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, because this is the month of Rasulullah sallallahu Until the corruption in one's heart is corrected, the sickness of one's inner being is cured. And, and you would notice that yourself. No one can... can show you that you have to examine your heart and see where it is spiritually and and then you would see the shortcomings in your heart the more you look sincerely you'll find that and then a way for you to cure yourself from that by turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in much dua in much ibadah and the more you exert yourself and you do this the more you purify this heart in this month of Shaban it's an opportunity for you and so the, the, there are three types of days or categories of days. And, and so this exertion, spiritual exertion that you should engage in must be done without delay. And it must not be put off for tomorrow. For the days are three, the scholars have mentioned. Firstly, yesterday. Yesterday, one, the first category of days. 
it is a date in history. In Arabic, we say Ajal. Alif, Jim, Lam, Ajalun, or Ajal. It's a, it's a date in history. It's gone. Ajal. It's gone. Secondly, today, the second category, today. Today, it's the time for action, for Amal. Ain, Mim, Lam, Amal. Today, it's the time for Amal, for you to do your good deeds as much as you can. And thirdly, tomorrow, which is a time for hopeful expectation. Amal, Alif, Mim, Lam, Amal. So there's Ajal, Amal, and Amal. The three category of days. And, and so for the, uh, we say uh, hopeful expectation, amal, because whether you get there or not is beyond your power. You have no control over that, whether you'll see tomorrow. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala determines when we leave this dunya. No one has a guarantee. No one can give themselves that guarantee or give you that guarantee that you'll be alive tomorrow in the future. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that. So, so therefore yesterday is a caution. You, you have this caution for you because it's gone. The days in history, you, you learn the lessons from it. But you can't go back to yesterday to do anything. Today is an opportunity. Today is an opportunity for you to engage in action which will benefit you. And tomorrow is a risk. It is a risk because People who put off things for tomorrow, they don't know whether they'll be alive to do it. And oftentimes, even if they are alive, they don't do it. Because tomorrow doesn't come with an, with an empty slate, an empty page. No, it is filled with things to do. Tomorrow, you, you, have, to, you have to eat, you have to sleep, you have to work, perhaps you have to study. You have to do so many things. The day, the day comes with its demands. Many people subconsciously think that tomorrow, oh, it's an empty time, 24 hours. I can do whatever I want to do with it. No, 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 no. There are many things that's already there that demand a portion of that 24 hour period. Only a small portion remains for you. So the, the, don't delay things for tomorrow. If you can do it today, do it today. Similarly, the, the, the month are likewise three categories. Rajab, these three months we talk about. Rajab, it's now past and gone, beyond return. It's not coming back for this year. No, it's gone. Rajab is gone. Uh, that's how it is. It's like yesterday, not coming back. And then Ramadan is awaiting in the, f in, in the future, a future you may not live to see. You may not live to see. And that's why in the dua the Prophet mentioned for three months, he says, Balighna Ramadan. Allahumma barak lana fi rajabin wa sha'abana wa balighna Ramadan. It means you pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help you to be alive for Ramadan. Who knows who will be alive? So many, so many people, this, especially in, during the pandemic and so on, so many people have passed away. I'm sure you may know someone that have passed away or heard of someone that has passed away because so many people, hundreds of thousands of people have died during this pandemic. So no one knows, no guarantee that you'll be alive in the future. So that's Rajab like yesterday, Ramadan like tomorrow. And in between we have Shaban now. So let us seize this opportunity for worshipful devotion. Shaban that we have now, yes. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentions in the hadith that's narrated by Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas, Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Umar, Afwan. Ightanim khamsan qabla khamsin. Make use of five things or five situations before five other situations come upon you. Make, you, make use of five before five. Your youth before old age. This is something you should do. For, for those who are young, don't waste your youth. Use it to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, use it to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So now it's Shaban. Do as much as you can do in Shaban. The Prophet alayhi salatu salam says that there are seven categories of people who are shaded by seven categories of believers who are shaded by Allah 
On a day when there is no shade except, except his shade, meaning the day of judgment, shading on the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. يُذِلُّهُمُ اللَّهُ فِي الدِّلِّ عَرْشِهِ Yes. That, that's on the day of judgment. And one of which is شَهَابٌ نَشَأَ فِي عِبَادَةِ رَبِّهِ A young believer, a young Muslim, who grows up worshipping Allah. They spend their youthful days worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because for the young person, the youth, there are many distractions for them, many temptations for them in the dunya. So fortunate are those who can spend the time worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And here, you know, at the Islam Forum, alhamdulillah, our murids and other brothers and sisters or youth, teenagers and so on, young adults, uh, doing a great job, uh, you know, striving for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I want all of you to encourage yourself if you're youth, then your children or grandchildren, nieces, nephews and so on, to get involved with us so that they can grow up in Islam, spending their youthful days in Islam. The Prophet said, make, make use of your youth before old age comes to you. Because when you reach old age, you're, you are restricted in what you can do. Many people don't realize that until they reach old age. There are many things you cannot do when you, which you could have done when you were younger. So seize the opportunity when you're young to do these things for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Secondly, your health before sickness. When you're healthy, try to do as much as you can worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because if you get sick, or when you get sick, because everyone does, uh, you, you cannot do many things. Sometimes some people are so ill that they are in bed. They are bedridden during that time of illness. Can't do anything. So use your health to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your health before sickness comes upon you. Your wealth before poverty. Your wealth before poverty. If you have uh, some money, uh, possessions, then spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't wait for when you make another million dollars, then you'll spend for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No, that time may never come. And poverty may come upon you. There, 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 are so many, there are millions of people, all the refugees in many countries. For example, the Syrian refugees, there are millions of them. Before the conflict in Syria started, many of them uh, had their beautiful homes and jobs and happy family, spouse, children, and so on. Everything they needed, uh, they had, living an enjoyable life, and so on. And then this problem came, and they lost all of that. They had to run from their homes for their lives taking nothing with them and ending up in a refugee camp, living in tents, in a tent, from a beautiful home to a tent. They could not have foreseen that, but uh, things happen. You, we need to understand. So w when you have uh, enough to take care of your needs and you have more, spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't wait until you are so very rich to spend. People do that and they never reach there. Because when they get that million dollar, they want another million. They, they just keep accumulating things of the dunya. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Al-haqamu takathur, hatta zurtum al waqabir This takathur, takathur, takathur. Wanting more and more and more greed, greed, greed. And it keeps increasing. You set your eyes on something, uh, you know, want you to make your first hundred thousand, you do that, then the minute you do that, you don't stop. You continue, you want 500,000. Then you, you get that, you don't stop. You want a million. You make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He grants you, and then, uh, well, not you, you, but people. Uh, and this is what happens. This is, uh, the, the, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, in Surah Takathur, Al Hakamu Takathur, Hatta Zurtul Mul Makabir. People are so involved and trapped in the dunya and running after the dunya, the next thing they know, they're visiting their graves. At the Zurtul Mumlaqabir. Yeah, visiting your graves. Too late then. So you're well before poverty. Then uh, ease or leisure time before becoming busy. You know, you, 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 when you have some free time and so on, don't waste it. Use it to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then He'll grant you barak in your time. Many people, they have some free time, they just waste it. 
and then they become so busy they can't they, they're not able to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But let your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes force priority, force priority in your lives. That you always want to put that as number one. Your relation and therefore your worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, serving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, submitting to Allah, surrendering to Allah in this way. In times of ease, you make use of it before you become too busy to do the things that really matter. And finally, the Prophet Ali says, make use of your life before death comes to you. Because when death comes to you, you cannot do anything for yourself anymore. Others have to bury you. Uh, when, when death comes to you, uh, as the Prophet says, إِذَا مَاتَ إِبْنَ عَدَمْ إِنْ قَطَعَتْ عَمَلَهُ that when any of the children of Adam dies, all their action ceases, for the, meaning for them to do. They cannot do anything after they die. When people die, we bury them. We prepare them for burial, pray janazah, bury them. And they, they cannot do anything for themselves anymore. We who are alive can do for them. Or they, while they were alive, could, could have done things that would benefit them when they go in their graves. So the Prophet says, إِلَّا مِنْ ثَلَاثٍ Yes. One of which is Sadaqa Tunjariya, the Sadaqa Jariya, recurring charity. You give a charity which continues to benefit people. This is why charity for the masjid is so very important. If that, the masjid is doing things to benefit people, like so many people go and, and benefit from the masjid, pray therein, learn things from the classes, Islam school, the live stream broadcast. Now it's, it's gone beyond a physical masjid to a global masjid in that way. Uh, that people anywhere in the world can benefit from our programs because of the live stream broadcast and so on. So, uh, life before death. You're alive, make use of it to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And no one knows when they will die. No one knows when death comes to them, the angel of death comes and take them away from the dunya. So the lesson is, as long as you're alive, try to do as much as you, you can do for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what it, it has to be. So that when, when death comes to you, you die in a state of Islam, in a state of Islam. So this is something that we should be mindful of. Beautiful are these points uh, that uh, we dealt with today about the spiritual significance of Sha'ban, talking about the, the letters, the five Arabic letters of the word Sha'ban, Sheen, Ain, Ba, Alif, Nun. And for each one of them, the wonderful uh, significance that's given to, to these words, Sheen, for shara, for nobility, ayn, for ulu, or sublimity, ba, for birr, or piety, alif, for ulfa, or uh, spiritual closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to the Prophet sallam, and finally noon, standing for significant, significance, or signifying noor, radiant light, light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, light of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then we mentioned some of the special gifts that this month of Sha'ban brings to us. A month in which the treasures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are laid open for you. It's almost like this banquet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's there, a huge banquet for you to go and take whatever you want. Shaban is a time like that, an opportunity for you in this month of Shaban. A month in which blessings descend upon us by the mercy of the Prophet. Because of the Prophet, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends down his blessings more and more in Shaban because this is a month of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A month in which faults are forgiven, sins are expiated, you, you, you gain expiation for your sins. And it's a month of salawat on the Prophet sallallahu to recite much salawat on Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we talked about this in the ayah of salawat. In Allah, O malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi, ya ayyuladhin amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. So the salawat are three levels. Firstly, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Secondly, from the angels. And thirdly, from the believers. That we, we invoke blessings on the Prophet sallallahu And we mentioned the meaning of each and every one of them. Of them. And then we talked about the th three categories of days, 
three of them. Firstly, yesterday, which is a date in history, Ajal. Secondly, today, today, a time for action, Amal. And thirdly, tomorrow, which is hopeful expectation, Amal. So Ajal, Amal, and Amal. The, the first Amal with Ayn, and the second Amal with Alif. Amal meaning actions, and Amal meaning hope. So yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Three categories of days with different significance for us. And similarly, the three months that, that, that's connected together that the Prophet Ali Islam made dua for. Uh, Rajab, like yesterday. Ramadan, like tomorrow. And Sha'aban, like today. In that, in that way, that's significance that we should be mindful of. Uh, and, and so, uh, it is a great opportunity, this month of Sha'aban, the month of Rasulullah Sallallahu for us to turn to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and do more and more good deeds. And the more you strive sincerely, you would find the more Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala open, open the, opens the gate of, gates of goodness for you, opens the gate, the doors of goodness for you, that you can do more and more good deeds. You find, see, that now you, you, may, you may think certain things are impossible for you to do. But once you start doing it and you sincerely turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for you. We mentioned several khatams to do. The khatam of istighfar, the khatam of salawat, the khatam of tahleel, the khatam of the ayat karima, la ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min and so on. 70,000 times each. It seems like a lot. But once you start doing it, and you follow our instructions, you would find, see how easy it is. With that sincere niya for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it easy for you to do more and more. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with his special blessings in this month of Sha'ban, the month of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to fall in the footsteps of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Ahlul Bayt, the noble companions and the awliya and to be with them in the akhirah in Jannatul Firdaus. Ameen, Ameen, Ameen. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Ameen. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Inshallah, our special dua on this uh, blessed night, uh, Wednesday night in this month of Sha'ban al Mu'azzam. Uh, we want to recognize the the staff, the admin staff, for sponsoring the dinner program tonight. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala bless them uh, for the hard work they're doing, and tonight is sponsored the dinner program. We also include all those families that are sponsoring the dinner program in this month of Sha'aban. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of them. And then we remind you of the opportunity to uh, sponsor the dinner program in Ramadan. Uh, so we have the entire month of Ramadan and every day there is special uh, sponsorship for din the dinner program, uh, including iftar at Maghrib time, dinner after Maghrib, snacks between Tarawi and Tahajjud, Suhoor in the morning. So many opportunities for uh, to gain blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the cost of the sponsorship for each day, it is $900. So if you'd like to uh, sponsor a day or more than one day, send us an email, ifcinfo at gmail.com uh, so that uh, the staff can and get back to you regarding the sponsorship for the dinner program during the month of Ramadan. We, we have some sad news from one of the Murids in Africa, in Ghana, in Africa, West Africa, Sidi uh, Ahmed Burj. Uh, his home was destroyed in fire earlier today. Uh, he is safe, um, but his home was destroyed. So we want to make special dua for him, Sidi uh, Ahmed Burj from West Africa, from Ghana. Uh, 
this uh, sad news that we have. But we turn to Allah SWT and make the special dua to Allah SWT and make it easy for them. The important thing is that he is safe and his family is safe, uh, even though the home was destroyed in the fire. So we make special dua for him. Um, Hard-working uh, brother Murid in our Tariqa in Africa. Also, uh, Sis Aisha and Brother Shazar requesting dua. Sidi Junaid Mahmoud requesting dua. Sister Roxana Begum and family requesting dua also for her sister and family. Sister Ikra Farooq requesting dua. Sister Abid and Sister Shamal requesting dua. Among the requests for dua that we want to include in, in dua, inshallah. We also want to <coughs> recognize our donors, those who donated uh, today, yesterday, and before. May Allah bless all of them. Uh, starting, uh, we want to recognize one of them, Sister Farnaz Mohammadi, for the monthly donation to the Islamic Forum. Uh, Siti Hazma Farooq from Birmingham, United Kingdom, for the monthly donation to the Islamic Forum. Brother Ghulam Murshid for his donation to the Islamic Forum. Sister Aisha Sharif from Chicago for the monthly donation to the Islamic Forum. CD, sister, uh, brother, sorry, Brother Abdul Ghaffar Suley for the monthly donation to the Islamic Forum. Siti uh, Arshia from Los Angeles, California for the monthly donation to the Islamic Forum. Dr. Tahir Chowdhury from Connecticut, United States for the Shaban automated donation. So this is the special donation for the Islamic month. Uh, every month we have this special opportunity. Now it's the automated donation for Shaban. And to uh, respond to this uh, uh, appeal for Shaban, you go to the website and on the donation page there are different categories, different buttons one of which is Shaban automated donation. So you click on that button and you go to uh, the donation page and it offers you three options, 10-day uh, automated donation, 20-day automated donation, and 30-day automated donation. Select which one you want and fill in the details inshallah to get blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sidi Mahmoud al-Hassan, uh, daily donation, Sidi Mahmoud from St. John's Newfoundland, insha'Allah. We also want to uh, recognize uh, those who've donated for the live stream project and for the Masjid Paint project, uh, st <coughs> starting with <coughs> Sister Bibi N. Khan from North York for the live stream equipment. Uh, Sidi Naim Ali, uh, for his thank you for his generous donation to the Islamic Forum. Uh, Sister Shamina Owen for the lettering equipment. Uh, Sister Sophia Pessoa for her donation to Islam for one share. Uh, Sister Zairul Khan for the Masjid uh, Painting Appeal. This is a project for repainting the Masjid. We started work last weekend continue this week and this weekend we'll, uh, we'll continue inshallah and next week with the painting. So this is a, uh, a limited appeal for this period of time. Uh, we want to finish the project as soon as possible inshallah in preparation for Ramadan. Uh, so a wonderful opportunity for Sadaqah Jariya to uh, donate for the Masjid paint project, the repainting of the Masjid. Uh, also we, we thank Sidi Zahid Ihsan for his donation to the Islam Forum, Sidi Kamran Bati and Sidi Sabiha for their donation to the Islam Forum, Sister Aubrey Mays from Crimson Multimedia for her donation to the Islamic Forum, uh, Sister Brenda Williams from Harlem, New York for their donation to the Islam Forum. These are some of the names that we want to recognize today and to make dua for all of them and all of you, inshallah. May Allah bless all of you. Also, the, 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 those who have entered the information in the chat, we want to recognize all of them and to make special offer them for making this extra effort, spending uh, a few seconds or a minute or so to enter the name and the city where they're from in the chat and the update on the different projects, inshallah. Very good, alhamdulillah. May Allah bless all of you.
for responding to, to the chat, inshallah. So we, we include all the requests for dua in our need for dua. Uh, the admin staff are sponsoring dinner today. All our donors, we especially offer them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, bless them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, enrich them many more times and bless their family and their loved ones because of the donation to the Islamic Forum. And remember the special appeal, we have a special opportunity, the Masjid Peen Project to repaint a new masjid. And then for this month of Shaban, the Shaban automated donation that uh, you can donate towards and get blessings, special blessings, many blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We'll make dua now. So kindly raise your hands and join me in dua, inshallah. Allahumma ameen. أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إن كنا من الظالمين لا إله إلا الله الحليم الكريم سبحان الله رب العرش العظيم والحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم إنا نسألك موجبات رحمتك وعزائم مغفرتك والغنيمة من كل بير والسلامة من كل إثم اللهم لا تدع لنا ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا هما إلا فرجته ولا, دين ولا دينا إلا قديته ولا مريضا إلا شفيته ولا مريضا إلا شفيته ولا ميتا إلا رحمته ولا ميتا إلا رحمته ولا حاجة من حوائج الدنيا والآخرة هي لك رضا إلا قديتها برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم بارك لنا في رجب وشعبان وبلغنا رمضان اللهم بارك لنا في رجب وشعبان وبلغنا رمضان ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وادخلنا الجنة مع الأبرار يا عزيز يا غفار يا رب العالمين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه يجمعين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله سيدنا محمد رسول الله Allahumma amin, amin, amin. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase us in tawfiq and kubul and ziyadah. Uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, for uh, this week, Friday, uh, we are allowed to have more people in the masjid. The restrictions have been eased somewhat to 15% capacity of our masjid. So those who are within commuting distance at Islamic Forum, please come out and join us for Jummah on Friday starting at 1 p.m. And then uh, we also will continue our live stream broadcast of Juma for those who are living in other cities, other countries and so on. You can still pray Juma with us from the comfort and safety of your home, inshallah. And then we also have good news to share with you for Saturday night. Um, we, as you know, it is the Nisf Shaban program. Saturday night is the 15th night of Shaban. So the special program of Nisf Shaban or Shabi Barat. And uh, the, the good news f I want to share with you for Saturday night is that we, we apply to the cemetery here in Brampton to visit the cemetery and Alhamdulillah our application was, was approved. The, they, they are allowing us to visit the cemetery, which we usually do every year to make dua for the deceased Muslims. This is a sunnah of the Prophet On this night of Shaban, in the authentic hadith of Sayyidah Aisha, 
uh, the Prophet so went to Jannat al Baqi. He made long dua and he crying his dua for the deceased Muslims who are buried there. So we will do this. Alhamdulillah, we were concerned because of the restrictions for the pandemic and so on. Last year, we could not visit the cemetery on the night of Nisf Shaaban because the cemetery was, was, uh, didn't allow us. The, the lockdown was uh, more was enforced then more strictly with, limit, with more limitations and more restrictions. Alhamdulillah, this year they've done so. But they are limited numbers. So those of you who uh, would like to go with us to the cemetery, please send us an email, ifcinfo.gmail.com, and uh, we will, uh, we, we will uh, add you to the list on a first-come, first-served basis because of the limited numbers from the cemetery, inshallah. So we'll have our special program here. And the broadcast for Saturday night Nisf Shaban program starts at 7 p.m. We have a beautiful program, inshallah, special program planned for Nisf Shaban Shabi Barat. And once you finish the collective program, uh, which would include the special recitations of Quran with special knee and special dua for Nisf Shaban, there is a special dua, dua Nisf Shaban, which we'll recite. With the, the three times with the three different niya, and then the special salah for the, that night, salatul khair, it's called. We'll do that together so you can pray with us, inshallah, uh, on the live stream. And then other dhikr, special dhikr for that night, special, and, and so on. Many wonderful things for this great night of Niswa Shaban. So please uh, prepare to be with us, inshallah, and uh, gain the great blessings of this and tell others, tell others uh, about the, the Nisra Shaban program uh, so that they can all join. Remember your family members, your relatives, your friends, other Muslims you know, tell them so that they can join the live stream. Share the YouTube link with them so that they can tune into the broadcast. And of course Friday 1 p.m. for the weekly Juma broadcast which starts at 1 p.m. All of this is Toronto time. Alhamdulillah. So we thank you for watching our program tonight. We hope you can watch uh, the program every night starting at 7 p.m. Toronto time. Insha'Allah and pass a message to others, encourage others to look at the program. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, bless your family, bless your loved ones, show his special forgiveness on you, keep you always in the shade of his special mercies. Until we meet again, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu.